Halloween is quickly approaching, which means it's time to take advantage of seasonal trends and count down the five most frightening, ghoulish, and otherwise unpleasant enemies in all of gaming. First person gaming, that is. Well, Resident Evil 4 is on this list, and that's a third person shooter, but you get the idea. While I agree that the dead hand from Ocarina of Time is totally terrifying, it probably won't be making an appearance in the countdown. So, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Oh, and the Super Mario 64 piano, it's not in here either. The aliens have seen their fair share of ups and downs, from awesome, to awful, and even straight up confusing. But regardless of the venue in which they are showcased, their petrifying presence always steals the show. And this is certainly the case for the 2000 release of the original AVP. The aliens were sneaky, quick, and even if you killed them, they still managed to take a chunk out of you. Doctors are a lot like clowns. They mean well most of the time, but there's something about them that just seems a bit off. If you don't believe me, just play Bioshock, an event as ordinary and commonplace as the collapse of society is all it takes to send them all totally over the edge. Every doctor in Bioshock is freaky like Bowie, but the one that takes terrifying to a new dimension is the dentist. Big surprise, I know. For demonstrational purposes, I will now recreate a playthrough of the dentist's office in Bioshock. So, we're back to another playthrough of Bioshock. This is my fourth playthrough. Uh, just remember to subscribe to my channel. What? What's with... What's with this fog? <laughs> Jesus! I used to watch a lot of horror films as a kid, but the one that had me losing sleep for weeks was The Mummy. Everyone always asks why. Why did it scare you so much? Well, the skin beetles didn't help. But the thing that frightened me to no end was the fact that you couldn't kill him. You could shoot him into bits and then send those bits into an incinerator, but he would come out in one piece on the other side. The same principle applies to the regenerators in Resident Evil 4. They regenerate and won't stop trying to kill you until you're dead. And call me crazy, but that totally freaks me out, Bowie. At the end of the day, the regenerators are no imitep, and they can and will be killed. But the thought of having to interact with that trade guy to buy more ammo is scary in its own right. What a selection of what are you selling? Doom 3 is without a doubt one of, if not the greatest sci-fi horror game out there. And while it's true that the jumpy scares start to wear on you after a while, the fright factor is totally renewed when these things come into play. I was so disturbed by these little buggers, <laughs> because they're bugs, that I decided to study them further. And after much observation and research, I discovered how they are created. You need to get a hold of the teleportation pods from the movie The Fly. Once you've done that, take a baby and dress him in a Kevlar vest. And then, just add a lobster and a horse fly and flick the switch. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of the most disturbing abomination in the history of science fiction. So by that logic, the number one spot couldn't possibly be a sci-fi game. Correct, it is in fact set in the 1800s. And the game is called Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Sure, it's not technically a shooter, but it is the only game that will assault your psyche until you are nothing but a shattered remnant of your former self. Disturbing thoughts and images lie around every corner, but nothing quite does the trick like the enemies in the game, also known as gatherers. They come in many forms, but whether putrid, pasty, or totally invisible, they are 100% guaranteed to disorient and disturb. Now take a good look and be scared, because I'm about to ruin the mood and tell you exactly why they're so disconcerting. Number one, their appearance is definitely disturbing, but beauty is only skin deep and having a half-mangled face isn't enough to scare everyone. Number two, you are discouraged from looking at them. Like some games before it, Amnesia has a sanity bar, so to speak. See too many spooky sights and you'll curl up into a little ball on the ground. So if you're playing the game to win, you will want to avoid oogling the goodies for too long. This makes the creatures all the more mysterious and lets the developers skate by by using the same character model for the majority of the game. Finally, the most important reason why the gatherers are so infamously terrifying is because you can't fight them. There are no weapons. Running, hiding, and trying to outwit them are your only options. In fact, I can't imagine amnesia would be so revered among the horror community if you could shotgun your way through the game. 
And now that I have totally ruined the greatest horror game of all time for you by explaining the mechanics, I invite you to subscribe to FPS General for more Top 5 fun and gratuitous amounts of FPS coverage. This has been James, and thanks for watching.